49ers will come with a three-man rush. Bartkowski to throw. He is going long down the near sideline. It's going to be a jump ball, and it is pulled down by Billy Johnson. Johnson inside the 10, 5. He is down. First down Atlanta from the 21. Blitz coming. Bart's going for Jenkins in the corner. Touchdown Atlanta. Mayberry in there. Bartkowski drops the throw. He's going long. Looking for Jenkins. Touchdown. With a snap, drops the throw. Clock is running now. Down to 17. Throws long. Everybody's down there. The Saints look like they're there. There's the ball to the end. The Falcons had always featured one of the NFL's most feared big play attacks. A reputation that began with their strong-armed quarterback. Steve Bartkowski has been in the Pro Bowl before. There aren't many teams that you would come into where the quarterback in residence would have been to the Pro Bowl before. He's been there twice in seven years, and that's quite a remarkable accomplishment based on the people that are in the league. With an arm that could have been designed by Howard, sir, Bart remains a talented quarterback whose 63% completion average was the NFL's third best in 1982. Once again, Atlanta's comeback catalyst was Steve Bartkowski. You, you in his sixth that. year, Bart was finally flying through pro football's blue sky. Number 10 enjoyed his finest year because after four years of rebuilding, both the Falcons and Steve were coming of age together. Bart passed for 3,544 yards and a league-leading 31 touchdown passes. Both marks were Falcon records. Steve Bartkowski was an opportunist who kept his team in the battle when the cause seemed lost simply by using the talents of men. Steve Barkowski has been completely healthy for two years, two all-pro years, and Alfred Jenkins has shed his anonymity to become a bona fide NFL superstar. Bart and Jenkins, together they brought new meaning to the word bomb making the 60-yard score as reliable as the off-tackle play. They marvel in the development of each other. Steve's first year was, was like any rookie quarterback, I guess. He had a little, a, a little rough, uh, and then became a born-again Christian. That kind of changed his life, you know, completely. He started throwing the ball a lot better, and now I, it's a joy just coming to practice watching that guy throw the ball. He's incredible. No one in the NFC threw more touchdowns than Steve Barkowski last.